We're in talk mode. Hey guys, we are back. And today we will be discussing whether the fear of missing out is ruining your life. And you know what? I think before we get into discussing that, we really got to figure out where the fear of missing out even comes from. Like, at what point in your life do you start Feeling like, oh, if I'm not involved in this, I'm losing something. Like, when does that come into play? And I think people show really, really early signs of it. If you if you think back to your school days, and I'm sure we've all experienced this at some point, where it's been a situation where we've gone to our parents and be like, oh, so-and-so has this. I want one. I don't want to be left out. Do you know what I mean? That is basically an early, early, early version of the fear of missing out. Um, all, people also used to call it like keeping up with the Joneses or whatever. Um, the same as like, oh, oh, my friends are going on this school trip. I want to go. Again, seems like that's like a really early version of the fear of missing out. Um, you got to ask yourself, where does that come from? Like, is that just a natural human state or is that something that we kind of inherit of different things? And I think like most insecurities, this one comes through, we absorb it through the media for one and I guess social media nowadays. And I think part of it comes from our parents because... I, I don't know about you, but like, I often had, uh, often been told, ah, oh, look at so-and-so's kid, oh, you should be like them. Or, you know, in different social uh, and cultural and class backgrounds, there's maybe slightly different examples of this. Uh, where you'd be like, oh, we need to attend this wedding because... Uh, well, we we need to. There's there's no we don't particularly talk to these people or know these people or have any connection with these people. But because we were invited and all the family is going to be there, we need to be there. And that was our parents saying that to us, kind of, kind of showing us that this is just how shit works, and uh, giving us this uh, obligation or putting this fear in us for the lack of a better word that oh if we don't go to this event we're gonna miss something or we're gonna lose something when actual fact probably would have just saved some time and maybe money because you probably had to take a gift for that wedding and wear nice clothes which you probably had to buy and listen to people's bullshit who you don't really know and don't really care about so you actually would have saved a lot if you didn't go to that particular event. But. It's one of those things. In the same way that. I don't know if you come from a certain class. You may be required to do certain things. That you don't necessarily want to do. But are required to do. Because well it's tradition. Or it's just how we do things or it's just if you don't do it and those guys do it then you're different and that's a bad thing for whatever reason now i know i kind of gone off on a bit of a tangent tangent here with regards to those kind of things but i think all of that that whole part of your childhood those insecurities that have been kind of like ingrained in you and at the time they weren't insecurities they were just like oh this is a chore it's a it's a tradition it's something that we're just supposed to fulfill or whatever uh, but over time and now in, in your own lives and in things that have nothing to do with those traditions and just different things you are now having a fear of missing out now that's just one type of that fear there's there's multiple other types you know, and and it comes and 
happens in so many different aspects of your life. This could happen, some often related to other people, but this could happen with your a, a group of friends, a group of colleagues, family, or it could just happen within yourself. Fear of missing out on opportunities, on experiences, on money, on love, on so many, so many things, and and it's constant because you can only take the one path, I guess. You know, you you you're gonna do something, and while you're doing that thing, you could be missing out on something else, and and is that fear? Of missing out on that other thing really ruining your life because you're not fully enjoying what you are doing. See, this is what happens when I don't script podcasts, which I don't, to be fair. But it makes it that what I'm talking about doesn't always make sense. And I flip from one thing to another. But in my head, it was a lot more organized. Anyway. Let's talk about the fear of missing out in relation to work, colleagues. Now, I, a good example to use here is, uh, let's say, a Christmas party, right? So I don't drink, and Christmas parties <laughs> tend to be a lot about drinking. Uh, I also have certain dietary restrictions and we always end up at restaurants where there isn't that many options for me to enjoy. But year after year, I always go to the work Christmas party. And the question is, why? And there's a couple of things to really break down here. There's a couple of things I have a fear of missing out on. It's a, this is a very like small and inconsequential uh, e- example that I'm using but you could apply this to pretty much everything so let's talk about this let's let's drill down there's maybe three things that I'm worried that I'll miss out on if I don't go to the event potentially you know, f- first of all you got this thing of missing out on the free treat you know the company's paying for it it's free food Free drinks and just a laugh, right? So that's the first thing that you're going to miss out on. <clears throat> the second thing you're going to miss out on is the experience, the memories, the... I'm trying to think of another word. The anecdotes, the in-jokes. And, 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 and that be a thing. And then the third thing you're going to miss out on is... The potential opportunities, the people you could meet, the conversations you could be a part of, the the things that could happen there. And, and let me drill these three things down for you. So first of all, let's, let's address the free stuff. Well, you know what? I can afford food. I'm good. I don't need the free food. Yeah, it's nice to get a treat. But really, that shouldn't be the main reason you're going. Right? Now, the fun time... Hey, it's a fun time, but I could be having a fun time doing something else. Something that's more suited to my interests. So, does it really matter? Probably not. The second thing is missing out on the anecdotes. Let's drill down into that a little bit. So, what what I'm saying with that is, like, three months down the line, after the Christmas party, let's say you didn't attend. You'll be with a group of colleagues and, oh, remember this thing that happened at the Christmas party? And they'll turn around to you and you'll be like, yeah, I wasn't there. Be like, oh, yeah, you weren't there. And then they'll carry on and have that conversation with the other colleague and not you in terms of you basically be pushed out of the conversation because you weren't there, mate. You ain't got nothing to contribute to that conversation. The colleagues, the other two colleagues who did attend the Christmas party have bonded and you're outside of that now because you're not part of that in-joke and you can't be there to share those fond memories of the Christmas party and and that's one of the things that we fear and wow well, man there's there's other things there's other opportunities there's other ways to bond like this isn't the be all and end all of everything and then the third point that I mentioned is the fear of missing out on opportunities now 
a good example of this is uh, on my most recent Christmas party, we had some people down from head office and I got to meet them and I, I now know them on a first first name basis. So when they consequently uh, visit, no, consequently, what am I talking about? When they visited the office later on in the year, uh, I knew them, I had already had some FaceTime with them. It was less intimidated. They knew my name. Uh, and there's all of, all of these different advantages for that. They could put a name, face to a name or name to face, however that's said. A lot of those things happened because I attended this Christmas party and got the chance to have a chat with them in a more relaxed, informal environment. So that made a difference. And my, I think my, for me personally, <clears throat> that's the biggest fear I have in not attending work events that are not compulsory is that I might miss out on those kind of opportunities where I get to network and make connections and you've you know just just get to know people outside in an informal environment and that's the reason I go now you you can look at this two ways if I was really didn't want to go and I was only going for that reason then that would be because I I have a fear of missing out on those opportunities or flip side I am making the conscious decision to attend so that I can make the most out of those potential opportunities it's not that I particularly don't want to go but I probably wouldn't go unless those opportunities weren't available and there have been times where there's been work events where I have known for a fact that no one from outside my normal colleagues that I see every day are going to be there and therefore I didn't attend the event because there was no value for me there don't get me wrong I like to chill with with these people outside of work great you know it'd be nice but I've done it a few times so I don't need to do it every time and that's the way you got to look at things now like I said I'm using an example that isn't end of the world sort of situation either you go you go you you don't you go you don't go you're not losing anything either way you're not you losing time time is the main thing that you're going to lose on either side of this thing so it's not the end of the world but we can apply this to various different parts of of our lives stuff to do with friends sometimes you get you, they talk about um What's the word? Jeez. Influence. Bad influences. Right? Talk about bad influences like in your teenagers or whatever. And a lot of that's got to do with fear of missing out or fear of being left out more, maybe more accurately. Um, and it's that, that's the reason a lot of people do stupid things. It's, it's just that. You're surrounded by people who are going to do this thing and you don't want to be the only person who doesn't do it. You don't want to be the odd one out. You don't want to be left out of the conversation, out of the group, out of the experience, out of the memories. All of those things come into it. And you know, truth of the matter is, if you don't really want to do it, then all of that shit doesn't matter. It really doesn't. Like, if you have, quote unquote, friends who will make you feel like crap because you didn't do something that they were going to do, or did do whatever then are they really friends you know you're allowed to have different interests and different wants you know you don't have we don't all have to be sheep and it's like what your your parents might have said to you when you were a child oh if your friend was going to jump on a jump jump off a fucking cliff would you would you jump off that cliff and the answer should be no nah because it's stupid and i'm not interested in doing that do you know what I mean? And uh, you know what? It, the fear of missing out makes us do, do some stupid things, man. Like let's 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 try and use another example. And I'm gonna use generic things that might not apply to everyone, but we'll all have something that's similar to this that we've done because at the time it seemed like a good idea, but looking back over it. That decision was made through fear of missing out on something, whether that is 
status or opportunity or perception or uh, I don't know words friendship I, I don't know there's a lot of things you could feel of but like for example um I, I again I'm going to use school because I think a lot of this comes in school to be honest yeah um we we use your uh, I think as you get older sorry uh, I'm not going to use school I want to use a little bit later in life like university let's call it um but as uh, as you get older I think the fear of missing out decreases because you kind of come into your own and you have your own personality now it's still there but it's not as strong as it once was or I don't feel like it is for me anyway it might still be for other people so let's let's discuss that in, in let me give you an example from like uni or something where where how the fear of missing out not only causes you to do something that you didn't really want to do you just did it because yeah you didn't want to miss out uh, and two actually gets you in some sort of trouble you know you actually lose something from doing this give you a prime example i'm at uni yeah just having a good time doing my own thing and you see people around you and yo these guys are leveling up now some of these men's got jobs or they've got money or they got parents back in them or whatever right and they're leveling up when i say that i mean oh, they got nice trainers they got nice jackets they're going out all the time you know um, spending money eating out you know I, who knows how they're affording this shit yeah cuz i couldn't afford jack shit when i was at uni i was just like living my basic life and i was happy with it but all this starts happening right and then you got me just sitting there like oh you know what i want a nice pair of trainers i don't, i don't want to be the only guy who's you know wearing unbranded clothes do you know what i mean like all these guys around me are all wearing brands nice fresh clothes and me sitting there in a fucking primark jumper do you know what i mean like it, it just now like you say oh that's, that's vain of you or or whatever but really it comes down to the fact that i don't want to be left out do you know what i mean i i don't want to be the odd one out i don't want to be i want to keep up is this what it is so what does man do he goes and spends money from his overdraft credit card fucking loan whatever else right brings money together should be spending on like i don't know textbooks or some shit but now nah, buy the fresh pair of trainers has to have the latest phone whatever blackberry fucking iphone whatever it was back then yeah and 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 like that you just without realizing now you accumulating a problem for yourself because you've got a fear of missing out on this thing that you are actually quite happy with I was more than happy to wear unbranded clothes right but I had this thing now it's my fault no one's put this on me like I never had people around me it's different for everyone but I never had people around me saying oh look at this guy he's wearing some shitty ass clothes no I never had no one around me but it's a mental thing right so mentally I was like yeah no I need to I need to upgrade I need to look good I need to be be the same as these people around me that was my own problem my own mental problem in some situations you actually have people I'm like oh wait what the hell are you wearing man get some good trainers or whatever do you know what I mean so you have people like that luckily in my world i didn't have people like that around me not to my face anyway Psst. what they did behind my back who knows and i don't really care but i've just given an example of of an experience in my life where the fear of missing out really caused a problem for me because what happened then is oh yes i kept up with them and i had style and i'm wearing nice clothes branded clothes that i didn't really care about but i am i've got them now great made me feel good made me feel like i can keep up with the man's around me but what was happening in the background is your boy is accumulating debt right so i've caused myself a problem now that i'm still paying for today because i had a fear of missing out on some shit i didn't care about and that's happening to so many people in so many different aspects of their lives making stupid decisions that didn't need to be made and you didn't really care about now 
there's 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 like so many so many facets you could go into with regards to this sort of you know fear of missing out or fear of not fitting in or fear of being left out and it's all the same thing it all comes down to one thing and that's your insecurities and the way other people make you feel it's not about how you feel you're feeling like this because of other people and frankly you gotta just tell them to fuck off and do you do what you want to do and and just just go with it now there's there's like again like i said there's so many different facets of this and we could keep on talking for a long long time right so let's talk about we're just going to try and explore something slightly different with with regards to the fear of missing out and uh, this one is not affected by other months like this is just you on yourself let's say you got two paths in front of you you can either go left or you can go right now from what you can see yo the left maybe for like you might have some sick opportunities on the left right sick sick opportunities on the left but it's not a guaranteed thing all right or you can go down the right and yo know, you you're not going to get the highs of that left hand path but on the right hand side yo you know you're going to be good it's a steady path you're going to get to your destination just is it, and it's going to be a great journey you just might not get those really really exciting things that you might get walking down the left path the destination is the same either way your goal is the same the destination is the same you're going to get there either way but one path is is a bit more subdued you know it's it's just a nice nice walk there you're going to get there it's going to be great now on the other path there's the opportunity to see some things that you might not get to see otherwise but you could fall down on that path there's also a lot of problems that could happen in that path it's not a sure thing like the one on the right and that's really the dilemma that most of us face that's it it's the fear of missing out on those really high highs that we could get on one path which makes us sometimes make that decision to go down that path now all you got to do is sit there and just work out in your head what's more important to you the destination or these particular experiences that you could might have that's that's it that's what you got to think about man uh the fear of missing out is such a strange uh it's not straight strange is not the right word but it's a ever evolving thing there'll be different things throughout your life that you'll always have a fear oh i'm missing out on this and what you got to do for yourself is just sit down and be like nah listen this is what i want to do this path is the one that I want to take and it doesn't matter if there's other things I might not see because of it because what I am going to do is I'm going to go on this path and make my own experiences and have my own fun and enjoy myself and enjoy life now I mean don't worry about the things you are not going to see it they don't matter to you to your life they don't matter and if you've got people in your life that make you feel left out or make you feel different or make you feel just that oh yeah oh look look at you you're not doing this or whatever well tell them to fuck off cuz they don't matter what matters is that you are happy doing what you're doing that's all that matters yeah you as long as you're being sensible and covering the needs of your life right your responsibilities you're making sure they're covered then nobody else's fucking opinion matters including mine now as always i say hey man it's great that you're here and listening to this and i hope to god that my rants help you out make things clearer for you help you get on with your life But if you really feel like you're in trouble, seek some help, man. Seek some help. There's loads of people out there.
that can help you out loads of resources and if i remember to i'll try and link some places below thank you guys so much for listening and if you have a question that you want me to discuss like this on the podcast then be sure to hit me up on twitter or instagram at wild originals thank you very much for listening once again take care fuck everyone else goodbye